So today we are going to be talking about Vikings, also called Norsemen. So what are the Vikings? Well, the word Vikings actually means to raid an Old Norse, which is their language. They would board their longships and head across waters to raid villages on the northern coast of Europe. So initially, the Vikings lived in northern Europe during the Middle Ages. They originally settled in Scandinavian lands, which are now Denmark, Sweden, and Norway. And the Viking Age, which is a period of time, actually started around 800 CE to 1066 CE. So that was the Viking Age. So when they first lived in Northern Europe, that was starting around 800 CE. In the ninth century, they began to settle parts of Great Britain, Germany, and Iceland. In the 10th century, they moved more to Northeastern Europe and would, as I said before, board their longships, head across waters. So even though they had settled lands, they would also travel across waters to many other lands to take over the lands and raid them, which means they would kind of take things from the homes and possessions and belongings and take over the lands. But the end of the Viking Age actually came from a defeat. And in 1066, the Vikings were defeated by the English. And at that point, they stopped expanding their territory, which was a huge part of the way that they lived. And they did not raid quite as frequently. So they overall just calmed down what they were doing and more stayed in one place. So some features and characteristics of Viking life. So I mentioned a couple times their ships called longships. Now longships were long, narrow, and speedy. They could float in shallow water and they were built specifically to be able to go across long distances, to go fast, as I said, be in the shallow waters, but also to hold lots of things that they would take when they raided villages. They would sail huge different distances for exploration and raiding, so, raiding, so they needed to be in comfortable big ships to do this best. Next, their homes. Now, their homes were made of wattle and daub, which are actually woven branches and clay. And much like they sh their ships, they were very long homes that were characterized by having a fire hearth in the middle of their homes. So if you can imagine a long home, a very long home of branches and clay, and right in the middle of it is a fire for cooking and other things, also a source of light, and all of their homes were just in one room. So we think of now, often most of our homes have multiple rooms, like a bathroom and a kitchen and bedrooms, but their homes just had one long room. So the fire in the middle, and then on the sides, they would have benches, and the benches during the day were for sitting, and then at night, they were for sleeping. So Norse, Old Norse, now that is the language that they spoke, and their alphabet was made up of 24 characters called runes and actually a lot of English words come from the Norse language like egg, dirt, creek, cake, shake, race, plow, window, and gawk. So we can thank them for some of these words that we have gotten. Now Norse mythology is something that you actually might be familiar with without even realizing. Have you ever heard of Thor? Well, if you've seen any of the Avengers movies, you might have seen him. But Thor actually comes from North Norse mythology. Um, part of the Norse mythology was having multiple gods and sacrificing things to them to make them happy. And that was part of why they did what they did. So some of the gods, but not all of them, are Thor, of course, who is the god of thunder. Idun, who was the goddess of spring, and Odin, who was the king of the gods and the god of war. So these are just a couple of theirs. And you may have heard of these before, just like I said from the Avengers movies, but they actually come from the Vikings Norse mythology. And finally, the warriors. Now, because the Vikings were a warrior group that would go and take over land and expand territory and raid villages, being a warrior was a huge part of their identity and part of that was their appearance they would wear helmets and shields but also the weapons that they would carry they would use spears swords and battle axes i hope that you learned just a basic understanding about the vikings i'm going to pop up some questions on the screen see how you do test yourself thank you for watching mm -hmm.